My physical TBR, while not as big as other people's, is still larger than I would like it to be. So because I'm really interested in looking at the books other people have they haven't read yet, I thought I'd make this really quick little video where I'm just gonna go through every book I own that I have not read yet. Fiction, non-fiction, the whole shebang, I've got categories laid down and everything. Um, but first of all, I am gonna show you the five books on my physical TBR, which I can most confidently say I will probably read this year. So book number one is Number Nine Dream by David Mitchell. This is what I'm hoping to read for the Buzzwordathon this month because the prompt is Dream and this is literally the only book I own which has the word Dream in the title. I don't really know what this book is about. I'm sure I read the synopsis originally when I bought it, um, but all I need to know is that it's a David Mitchell book, so I will probably really enjoy it. Number two is The Thrilling Adventures of Lovelace and Babbage by Sidney Padua. This is a graphic novel all about um, Lovelace and Babbage, and they, I think, invented like the first computer or what would become the first computer. I bought this at the Waterstones in Brighton in November 2019, so it's actually not something I've owned for years and years without reading, um, but because it's a graphic novel it should be quite quick, but it actually has quite a lot of um, like text and footnotes in it, so it might not be as quick a read as I'm hoping, but I would really love to get to it this year. Number three is Mother Earth, Father Sky by... I have absolutely no idea. It... It doesn't have an author, I don't know who wrote this, um, but this is a book all about Native American beliefs and mythology and it's one of the many books I have on my mythology and folklore shelf, um, which I have not read. But this one has quite a lot of pictures in it um, and shorter pieces of text, so I don't think it's going to be as much of a slog to get through as some of the other uh, mythology and folklore books I have. And I'm just, I don't know what it is, I'm really in the mood to read it recently. It sat on my shelf for god knows how long, and I never really felt the urge to pick it up, but recently I've just, it just sounds really intriguing, so I'm really hoping I can read it. Number four is This Is How You Lose The Time War by Max Gladstone and Amal El Mota. This is a quick science fiction book, I think, and I just really love the fact that the main characters are called Red and Blue, because I'm also myself planning a story where the main character is called Red and Blue, and I think that's a hilarious coincidence. Plus, I've heard really, really amazing things about this book. So it's short, it's intriguing, I'm into it, I want to read it this year. And finally, number five is the longest book on my physical TBR. It is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. I really want to finish this series this year. I've said it many times, you probably know this. This is an absolute brick of a book, um, but I would quite like to do a reading vlog on it. I just find myself like having lots of opinions on the glass books, and instead of doing a single review at the end, I kind of wish I could record my thoughts as I go aka a vlog, so that's something I'm really hoping to do later in this year, but because it's so massive um, I might have to wait for like a holiday at work, like a half term or a school holiday, because this will need quite a lot of time devoted to it to properly get through. So beside those five books I have many many more on my TBR shelf, and first of all I'm going to show you my fiction ones. Arcadia by Ian Pears. The Thrilling Adventures of Lovelace and Babbage, The Mostly True Story of the First Computer by Sidney Padua. Monstrous Volume 5 by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Slade House by David Mitchell. Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. This Is How You Lose the Time War by Amal El Motar and Max Gladstone. Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. Waking Gods by Sylvain Neuvel. Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Number Nine Dream by David Mitchell. A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. A Thousand Beginnings and Endings, edited by Ellen O oh and Elsie Chapman. The Secret World of the Flower Fairies and The Meaning of Flowers by Cicely Mary Barker. Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, Life, the Universe and Everything, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, and Mostly Harmless by Douglas Adams. Earthlings by Sayaka Murata. Force of Nature by Jane Harper, and Literary Starbucks by Nora Anderson Katz, Wilson Isaac Josephson, and Jill Madeline Poskanser. Okay, now I'm going to move on to showing you my unread mythology and folklore books. Like I said, there's quite a few of them. Mother Earth, Father Sky, Native American Myth, which Goodreads says was written by Tom Lowenstein. The Mabinogian, translated by Charlotte Guest. Scottish Fairy Tales by Philip Wilson, English Fairy Tales by Joseph Jacobs, The Light Princess, and Other Fairy Tales by George MacDonald, Celtic Myths and Legends by Peter Beresford Ellis, The Penguin Book of Norse Myths by Kevin Crossley Holland, 
The Aeneid by Virgil. The Greek Myths, Volumes 1 and 2 by Robert Graves. The Egyptian Myths, A Guide to the Ancient Gods and Legends by Gary J. Shaw. Hindu Myths, translated by Wendy Doniger. The Encyclopedia of Witches and Witchcraft by Rosemary Ellis Guiley. The Mythology Book. The Encyclopedia of World Mythology. And Red Thread on Mazes and Labyrinths by Charlotte Higgins. Next, I have a couple of books I'm classing as my languages and linguistics section. There's not many of these, but I haven't read any of them yet. Is That a Fish in Your Ear? The Amazing Adventure of Translation by David Bellos. Through the Language Glass by Guy Deutscher. And Babel, Around the World in 20 Languages by Gaston Doren. And finally, I'm going to show you the non-fiction books I have not read yet. Cicely Mary Barker and Her Art by Jane Lang. Doctor Who, The Writer's Tale by Russell T Davies and Benjamin Cook. Eat, Sweat, Play, How Sport Can Change Our Lives by Anna Kessel. The Girl Who Smiled Beads, A Story of War and What Comes After by Clementine Womaria. And The Phantom Atlas, The Greatest Myths, Lies and Blunders on Maps by Edward Brooke Hitching. Okay, so that was all of them. There's quite a lot. I did not count them before sitting down to film this video. So this is how many books are on my physical TBR. Plus I think I have like four eBooks I haven't read, but <laughs> that's a story for another day. I'm really hoping to try and chip down this number over 2021. I have yet to see how successful I will be. Hopefully quite successful. And maybe I could redo this video at the start of each year and hopefully be able to track how my TBR is dropping and changing over time. But whether I'm successful or not, I will see you in my next video. Bye.